All right, I finally received my order in the mail, the C64 OS. And you can see the way it was shipped was really minimal with just um, pathetic packaging, to be honest. But, and it came, uh, my, my copy came bent. I hope the disc worked. But anyway, it comes in this packaging here. Let's open it up. Oh, okay, there's not a disc. Okay, I was. I was under the impression that it came with a, a disc. Oh, there. Oh, I see. So anyway, yeah, my my little instruction manual came came bent. It might be hard to see. And but it doesn't I don't have to worry it doesn't come with a diskette it, but it does have this memory card which is interesting and let's take a look at it comes with this card this is the author of the C64 OS we'll have to take a ride through it this is a text based operating system for the Commodore 64. I'm just excited that there's still people out there actively coding for the 64 and trying new things. There was a, a Geos, a GUI based operating system a long, long time ago uh, created for this, for the Commodore 64, but this one's brand new and I'm sort of interested. I want to see what this is all about. Also came with this C64 OS sticker, which would be nice. It'd be nice to throw it on my ultimate. Let's go ahead and throw this in the C64 ultimate and see and fire up the operating system. I thought this would be a perfect time to break out my Commodore 1351 mouse and hook it up. I actually, I actually haven't had a chance to try this. I'm not even sure if it works. So, has a little standard 9 pin. Should plug into the joystick port and hopefully the operating system will recognize it and we'll be able to use the mouse. Unfortunately, that mouse will not see the light of day as I gave it a shot and I ran up some tester programs and it just does not work and I don't have the technical ability to repair it. And that's the reason why I purchased the Savior mouse interface. If you look on the top corner, my, my link up there, you'll see my video that I did on it in preparation for running the C64 OS. I was not prepared when I first purchased this OS and I didn't really know that I was gonna need a couple of accessories, including that Savior device and the SD to IEC disk device, which I ended up purchasing from the future was 8-bit. I had originally recorded this video in October of 2022 with the intent on putting this all in one big massive video, but I've decided against doing that and I've decided to make this just the part one of a series of maybe two or three videos. I'm not sure how many I will do. It's the middle of February now and I still don't know a whole lot about the C64 OS, but this is my first video and the second one I'm working on editing and will be out really soon. Thanks for watching.